Tonight, on 60 Years, we'll examine the life of one of today's most fascinating educators. Fran Hirschman, also known as Granny Franny, has spent her 60 years raising and caring for her family, running her school as her academy, and generally improving the lives of those lucky enough to know her. All this, plus Mickey Rooney. Don't try anything funny. I once went nine rounds with John L. Sullivan. On tonight's 60 Years. To get a complete picture of this unique individual, we wanted to send our camera crews to the houses of their children and to her school to interview those whose lives she has touched. But our crew consists of a webcam and a laptop, and we really don't get out much. Here's what we were able to scrounge together. Is he what? Are you related to Granny Hirschman? Oh, yeah! Who is she? Oh, my Granny. <laughs> Wait, who is Granny's favorite grandchild? That's a good question. Me! Wait, sure? no, no. Who is Granny's first grandchild? Right. Me! Do you love Granny? Oops. How much? That much? Oh, my goodness. That's a much. Is Granny nice to you? <laughs> now, where does she work? Is her Granny. What does she do there? Does she clean up? Nah, she's a principal. She's a principal. What does a principal do? I don't know. I don't think... mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know about principals. How do you know so much about Granny? I don't know. She seems to be a mysterious figure that nobody knows anything me. about. Mm. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I don't she... know. I don't know. <laughs> so you're saying that Granny Fran Hirschman is a nice lady? Yeah! Ooh. She's good? Yeah. She's wonderful? Yeah. She's fantastic? Yeah. She's superb? Is she superfluous? Clearly, when viewing testimonials, one must also consider the source and the trustworthiness of said source. Given the shadiness of this particular character, we decided to move on and see what else people had to say. When first meeting Granny, at the wedding to her son, which took place seven years ago, we have since grown in our relationship, to which we can share all memories of apple picking and berry growing in the garden. All these and more were fun memories for Granny and I to have as friends and bonding over hot tea on a summer night. One of the most impressive things about Granny as an educator is that she retains a memory of anybody who was in Ezra at any time. You could just show her any yearbook picture. She'll point and say, oh, there's Elliot Katz, class of 1994, or Dorit Hakimi in class of 2007. Anyone who's walked through the doors of Ezra Academy, she will remember by face and name and have some memory associated with them. And that's either a testament to her great uh, personal skills and memory as an educator that she was involved with so many of the students, or um, there's the possibility that she is a manufactured robot with a high-capacity memory unit, which has been proposed. It's a theory. It's out there. But as always, there is more than one side to a story, and we found individuals willing to present the other side of the story, a counterpoint, if you will. Their identities have been protected. Here are their statements. I was kept after school many times to scrape gum off the underside of the desk. Chewed gum. <laughs> Amidst rumors of family infighting, confessions came from the most surprising of sources. You mean good things? No, 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 no. Actually, not at all. I'm going to be disguising this, right? Uh, yes, of course. Just look straight at the camera. All right. Um, whew. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, did you ever see Doubt? <laughs> That's what she does to you. We hope we've presented a balanced picture of this wonderful person named Granny Franny. And even if we haven't, this is the best we can do with no time and no budget. In any case, 
we wish a very happy and a healthy birthday to Granny Fran. Thank you for watching.